I write to tell stories um, that I think are deep within me. And um, I find it uh, cathartic um, in a way to express myself um, through words and images. I started as an illustrator. So I'm, I'm a visual artist and then I became a writer after discovering that I actually do have my own stories that I wanted that I wanted to tell. Um, I think by reading a lot of other uh, picture books, children's books that I um, enjoyed and appreciated, I think I, I became very familiar with the genre. Um, so I, I, I tend to write in a poetic kind of way, or I use I use metaphors a lot. Um, so because my work is, you know, I'm an artist and it's very visual, I tend to th write in terms of the images that I see in my mind. So as far as picture books go, I loved Richard Scarry. I loved um, how he labeled all the, the different um, characters and objects and things like that in his art, because um, it was sort of a combination of words and images. Um, and then as I uh, became more of a, a avid reader, um, I would say Judy Bloom was my absolute favorite. I decided to write I is for Immigrants um, eight years after I wrote the book B is for Brooklyn, which is an alphabet book all that takes place in the borough, the place where I live with my children. Um, and that was a really, really fun project to work on when my kids were young. And within the book B is for Brooklyn, on the page, the letter, the letter I was I is for Immigrants. So that became um, a spread in, in the first book that was something that I kind of came back to and my editor came back to it when um, things started to kind of heat up politically in the US um, around the issues of immigration. Um, and I, I have felt strongly as an immigrant myself, um, I'm, I'm an immigrant from Canada to the US and also my family um, my parents uh, and their ancestors come from other countries. My father is from Turkey, Istanbul, Turkey. My mother's Jewish side of the family came from Eastern Europe. Um, my father was Turkish Jewish. So I grew up with, you know, immigration as part of my own personal story. And then I then made that journey here to the United States. Um, so when um, you know these issues started to really um, become um, something that you know uh, that you couldn't avoid. I mean the, the 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 terrible things happening at the borders, and I just felt like I wanted to create a book that would be sort of a positive celebration of the things that I know to be true that that immigrants that people from all over the world that that moved to the United States and come, come here for a, a better life or more opportunity. They bring so many wonderful and valuable um, aspects from their own cultures that help create the fabric of our rich American culture. So I really wanted to, to do a celebration type of follow-up book to, to Brooklyn. And the thing that's nice about Eyes for Immigrants is it has more of a universal appeal. It is not a regional book. It is an American book. Well, like I said, I was trained and I've always been a visual artist. So there's a lot of things I didn't know about writing. I feel like I kind of um, made it up as I went along, um, so to speak. So I work from a really intuitive place where I come up with ideas and then I just try to figure out a way to make it work. And 
kind of the nice thing about an alphabet book now that I've done two of them is that it's like a puzzle. So, you know, you've got the 26 letters of the alphabet and you have to find things that work for each letter and and you need to kind of create a proper like balance um and it, it's it's challenging and it's 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 also really cool when you when you come up with words or things or objects or foods or whatever that go with a certain letter and that you didn't even know existed and this is all part of the research so i guess what i didn't know was that there would be a lot of research involved especially with nonfiction books and i've done a few now um things that contain real reality anything that is real um and it's important to get the research correct by the way um that's that's a, actually a thing i learned early on with some of my earlier books when um i was used to kind of as an artist you take liberties and you can kind of have your own style so um but with with words and information that you're actually putting into books that children are going to read and educators are going to use it the, the information needs to be co very correct and um you know in the beginning when i was first an author and illustrator um i sometimes would there would be reviews of some of my words that corrected my mistakes so it became a thing that i've learned over the years how important research is and getting the facts right and getting you know the spellings of things correct i mean we have copy editors and other um and and my and my own primary editor for every project that is supposed to help with all of that but but you really it's it's at the end of the day it's my name on the book so uh, you know it's important to get things right um i change my environment so i i find um weekend trips, day trips, hiking. Um, before the pandemic, I used to love to just go sit in a cafe and hear the buzzing sound of other people chatting and the music in the background. And um, because I, I sort of, even though I'm slightly an introvert, I'm also like, I like to be around other people and I like to feed off of the energy of the environment around me. And the more conversations I have with people or, you know, experiences I have, whether it's um, in nature or at a museum or an event or a concert or music, it, it feeds, it kind of feeds my soul. So if I'm stuck, I, I just try to have more experiences. And then I find, you know, some of it is literally have it and and it's 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 forcing like i will sit down and i'll write lists and i'll you know i'll brainstorm and try to come up with ideas or i'll um i'll work and then rework and rework but then if you know because it, it's not always going to flow and the ideas don't always um come sort of organically If it's a lin if it's a linear story with a beginning, middle, and an end, then usually it's when the conflict or whatever happens in the middle when it's when it's resolved, um, and it has to have a satisfying resolution. Um, in the case of an alphabet book, it usually ends with the letter Z. <laughs> um, so yeah. Um, that's how and then there's usually a lot of editing down and sometimes sometimes the ending can be the hardest part. Um, and that may take work um, and rework rewriting and rethinking. Okay. <laughs> this is my book I is for immigrants. And. Um, Okay. 
A is for ancestors and also African dance, art, ambition, aspire, abulita. B, B is for bodega and braids, baklava, belonging, bikes, bubble tea, books, and more. C, C is for Chinatown and culture, community center, creativity, children. D is for dreamers, dumplings, diversity, day of the dead. And E, E is for Ellis Island, education, endurance, evil eye empanadas. F is for food trucks, falafel, frankfurters, fish and chips, freedom, flags, flea markets, fields, families, friends. My father wears a fez. And I put that in there because my father's Turkish. G is for genealogy, goals, guacamole, games. H is for holidays, heritage, hijabs, holy, hope, Hanukkah. I is for immigrants and imagination and innovation, which are things that immigrants bring to our country. J is for Jewish deli, Jewish delis, uh, justice, Japanese gardens, journey, joy. K is for kindness, kielbasa, kimchi, kabuki. L is for languages. And the late and L is also for La Lady Liberty. And she is saying welcome in many, many different languages over here. L is also for legacies and libraries and liberty. M is for music, memories, marimba, mariachi, merengue, and a mandolin. Mothers, martial arts, mosaics, Moroccan tiles, and mosques. N is for our neighbors, novels, nobility, nachos, newspapers. O is for opportunity, optimism, the ocean, oral histories, and olive oil. P is for potluck. And at this potluck table, we have pierogies, pastrami, papusas, pizza, patatas, panacook, poke bowls, papaya. P is also for pets, pride, passports. Q, Q is for quilts, pincenera, quesadillas, and Queens, New York, which is the epicenter of immigration in America. R is for rights, resisting, raising your voice, respect, refugees, restaurants, Ramadan, roots, recipes. S, S is for soccer, Samosas, sushi, stories, spices. T is for Turkish delight, tenements, truth, traditions, temples. U is for the United States. And understanding, unique, urban centers, and udon noodles. V is for voices and values, vision, voyage, Vietnamese sandwiches. 
W is for welcome, wishes, waves, writers, workers. X is for xylophone. Y is for yoga, yogurt, yucca, you, yearning, Yiddish. And then Z is for zest, ZD dinner, zen, zither, and zzzz. Go to sleep at the end. There's a little author's note at the back.